Hey guys, Mrs. Klein here again. Um, we are on April week three, day two. For those of you who have the paper, I prefer apples or carrots. All right, we are going to discuss this now and figure out how we can write this. All right, this is an opinion writing. This means that we need to give our opinion on something. And it's telling us, do you prefer apples or carrots? You have to color one, pick one. Do you prefer apples? Do you prefer carrots? Okay, so you're gonna pick. Then you're gonna write a sentence. I prefer apples or carrots, pick one. You can put it right there. Then you're gonna write three reasons why. Why do you prefer carrots? Or why do you prefer apples? Reason number one, two, and three. And you can draw little pictures to go with them. Okay, and then you have to write a conclusion sentence. And I'm gonna help you with that, but this is something that just helps you. Um, it, it tells the reader, it summarizes kind of what you wrote. All in all, this is why I like apples over carrots. Or all in all, this is why I like carrots over apples, okay? So we're gonna kind of do this together. And if you don't wanna pick what I pick, then you can just follow along and do the other thing, okay? So I'm gonna say, I prefer apples I prefer apples, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a little fancier. I prefer apples to eat, okay? <clears throat> now, reason number one for me, it has to be in a sentence, guys. Now, before we go writing this, I wanna make sure you guys understand. Look how small these lines are. We cannot write really big. Some of you guys like to write with really big letters. Take your time. Don't write really big, write nice and small on the lines, okay? Take your time and make sure you're spacing, okay? If you need help with spelling, ask someone at home. So let's just take it nice and slow. So here's reason number one why I like apples. I like apple, I prefer apples because I love apple pie, so. I'm going to say, I prefer apples because I love apple pie. Okay, mine's not gonna line up exactly with the way that my typing is, but you guys can line yours up exactly, okay? Don't leave apple pie all the way over here, okay? Put it back down on this sentence, okay? I prefer apples because I love apple pie. Then guess what I'm gonna draw a picture of right here? A delicious apple pie. Oh, it sounds so good. All right, the second reason why I prefer apples is because they're easy to pack in my lunch, okay? I love eating apples with peanut butter in my lunch. It's so delicious. So um, I'm gonna write another reason. Apples are easy to pack in my lunch. Okay, notice I capitalized the beginning of my sentence. I put a period at the end of my sentence. Okay, watch your sizing. Don't write too big. Then what am I going to put over in this square? I'm going, can you hear my kids playing <laughs> hide and go seek? Um, over in this square, I'm going to maybe draw a picture of an apple cut up into slices or a picture of my lunchbox with an apple sitting beside it, okay? All right, now I have a third reason why I prefer apples. Hold on one second, let me shut my door. Okay, um, the third reason why I prefer apples is because I think that they're fun to pick. I love in the fall going to an apple orchard and picking apples. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I like going with my kids. I like going with my husband. I just love going with anybody. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's nice and cool usually, and the apples are so delicious. I like to listen to music while we do it, and it's just a lot of fun, okay? So I'm going to say um, picking apples 
is a lot of fun. And I'm going to put an exclamation mark there because I really want to emphasize picking apples is a lot of fun. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a picture here, maybe of an apple tree and then a stick figure of me there with the apple tree. So it looks like I'm picking the apples. Okay. Now you guys can put whatever reason you want. Do you have to have the same reason as me? No, you don't. Did you even have to pick an apple? No, you could have picked a carrot. That's okay if you did. And you can put three reasons. Okay, just remember to capitalize, put a punctuation mark, and look at your spacing, okay? Now, the conclusion sentence. This is something that's gonna be a little more difficult for you, um, but we're gonna work through this together. So I always like to end my conclusion sentences, I like, well, I like to start them with usually some kind of phrase. And um, a lot of my favorite ones are, I'll start it with, in conclusion, blah, 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 blah. Or I'll say, in summary, blah, 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 blah. Or I'll say, as one can see, blah, 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 blah. Okay? So you can pick any of those phrases that you want. Um, I, it just makes it a lot more interesting to your reader if you have that kind of wording in your writing. Okay? So what we're going to do, I'm going to use one of my favorites, and I'm going to say, <clears throat> in conclusion, it sounds fancy, doesn't it? In conclusion, apples, and then you're going to kind of restate your three reasons, okay? Apples. Oh, wait, in conclusion. Uh, you restate your, your, your statement and then your reasons. I prefer apples because they are delicious, easy, and fun to pick. Okay, so I put delicious because I love apple pie. I put easy because they're easy to pack in my lunch. And then I put fun to pick because I love to go pick apples, okay? So you're kind of putting all those ideas together. If yours isn't perfect, it's okay, all right? Just um, try to, to combine all of your three reasons in your statement into one sentence, and that's called your conclusion sentence. Now, if you did something different than me, I am super excited to read it and see what you did, okay? So, and I'm also excited to look at all the pictures that you guys put with your reasons. I cannot wait to see that part. All right, I will talk to you guys later. You guys can pause the screen if you need to, and I will talk to you guys later. Love and miss you. All right, bye guys.